What's going on, everyone? It's time to review a paranormal documentary. <laughs> yeah, today uh, I'm going to be talking about The Haunting of Fox Hollow Farm. It was released October 1st, 2011. Uh, it was produced, written, edited, and directed by Dan T. Hall, who's also done other documentaries like Central State Asylum for the Insane, Ghost Stories 2, Unmasking the Dead, Ghost Stories 3, Conversations with the Dead, uh, Greek Fire, Demon Spirit, and Asylum, The Lost Footage. Um, this is a paranormal documentary on a, it's actually on a Canadian, in a, of a house where a Canadian serial killer killed people, a couple people, and supposedly haunted. Um, this is actually pretty close to, like, where I live. Uh, yeah, it takes place in Ontario, Canada, just outside of Toronto, which is... It's a somewhat similar area than where I am right now. So, um, but yeah. So it's actually pretty neat to see something like that in a movie, in like a documentary. And uh, so this documentary is a whole pile of paranormal investigators and mediums going into this house and trying to figure out if it's actually haunted or not. Now, the mediums get a lot in this. And uh, whether you believe it or not, I do not believe in mediums. <laughs> I was like... Okay, whatever. They're just like saying this, saying that, waiting for the evidence to come. And all they basically get in evidence wise is like a two or three really crackly EVPs, which are barely, uh, you can barely even make them out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so everyone in the documentary thought it was haunted. Me? I thought this was boring and a waste of time. <laughs> um, I, like I said, I don't believe in mediums. So, um, that's off the table for me. So if you if you believe in mediums and believe everything they say, you're going to be really invested in this. But for me, I was just like, okay, can we get to the actual evidence part? And they, lo and behold, they didn't even catch very much evidence. <laughs> it was just like, it was like an episode of Ghost Hunters. Like one of those like not so good episode of Ghost Hunters. And except they, they, we talked to like two or three, you know, the film crew talked to, two or three mediums in this and uh yeah but and what their theories are so you get some cool theories of what happened but overall it's like if you want to like i was watching this hoping to see poltergeist activity or something really stupid or a shave remake of paranormal activity like uh paranormal something something but um yeah uh that's not what i got <laughs> uh so yeah watching this was uh pretty boring they could like I was hoping for a lot more evidence, and uh, yeah, they just focused so hard on the medium aspect that uh, they kind of forgot that it was a paranormal documentary, and they kind of smushed that all at the end, which didn't make it any more interesting, <laughs> and not really conclusive evidence to prove anything, so... Yeah, Daunting of Fox Hill Farm was quite the disappointment. I found this in an 8-film DVD pack, so I'm not surprised by that. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, I'm gonna give... It's not, like, terrible, because they're not actors or anything that I'm aware of doing it. And even if they are, they are better than a lot of the ones in, like, Annalise the Exorcist tapes and stuff. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But, uh, I'm gonna give The Haunting of Fox Hill Farm a 1 out of 5. It was pretty terrible. Don't waste your time. It's only an hour long, but um, unless you really believe in mediums and what they say, this might not be for you. It's no ghost adventures, no ghost hunters, and you get to see a lot more interesting stuff on from YouTubers than this crappy documentary. So, yeah. Yeah, but um, I think it's on YouTube, so I'll link the whole thing down below if you want to check it out. I'll also link down below is my Instagram. That's where I post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. You have the film title and hashtags and subject on film and hashtag so you're aware of it. Also link down below is my letterbox at Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating right after watching the films. Yeah, so, um, yeah, follow me on one of those two platforms. Stay in loop with this channel. Like this video, share some more people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. If you have any other films or any films or film franchises in any genre that you want to hear my opinions on in the future come with those down below too i'll try my best to as soon as i can and if i can find them make sure you subscribe so if you find something weird or scary and on that you probably never thought of checking out together something like this and uh also so you hear my opinions on classic films and popular films that are coming out at the time and also some other stuff so make sure you subscribe and uh yeah but that's it for this one um it was a disappointing documentary so why not 
dive into um, more of a mainstream movie as I think my buddies and I are going to check out The King's Man uh, soon. So I think that's going to be my next review. So yeah, make sure you ring that bell and tune in for that. And uh, hopefully, um, yeah, because I have a whole pile of other bottom barrel, zero budget, micro budget movies to check out. So there's going to be a lot of them coming your way soon. So tune in for that too. But that's it for now. So um, I guess I'll be off and I'll uh, watch out for all those crazy serial, serial killer ghosts out there. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.